In today's video, I want to show you exactly how to get WhatsApp right on your iPad. Now, if you jump into the App Store and if you try to look for WhatsApp to download it for your iPad, you will see that none of these are actually WhatsApp. These are just third party app that try to mimic WhatsApp, but they are not from WhatsApp. So there is a workaround that you got to do. And this is all from the WhatsApp website that I'm going to show you. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to WhatsApp, the website, and I use the Google Chrome browser. I tried a couple of different browsers, but I had the best luck with the Google Chrome browser. And I just went to WhatsApp.com. Now on this page, you want to click on WhatsApp web right here. And if nothing happens when you click that is because you're on the mobile version of the website. You have to come on this side of the page and press share. And there is an option here for the desktop site instead of the mobile site that you see. Now they might look exactly the same, but it will take you to this other page here when you see that. Now I'm going to launch WhatsApp here on my phone. You could do this with any phone you have and then go to the camera app of the WhatsApp, not the camera app of your phone inside of WhatsApp, click camera and then go ahead and scan that QR code that shows up on your iPad with the camera of the WhatsApp. And I'm going to press continue here. And then you should bring up this page, use WhatsApp on other devices. So you have to press link device on this page. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And just like that, it's now on my iPad. Let me show you around here. Now this is on your iPad, but it's on the web, right? Because there is no native WhatsApp. They haven't ever made that for the iPad, but this is the closest you could get to it. And it was a pretty native experience from when I used it, but you do have to keep your phone connected here with your iPad. But you could jump into any conversation. You could type whatever you want. You still have all kinds of different options that you have with the mobile version of WhatsApp, but this time on your iPad. I hope you found this quick video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.